Okay, I just wanted to give you a quick video on long division. Dividing a three digit number by one digit number. So this is our problem. We have 726 divided by 3. So first I'm going to draw my 726 using base 10 blocks. So if you remember we use these squares to represent hundreds. So there's my seven hundreds. Here's my two tens. And here's my six ones. And then over here, I'm going to draw my three groups. And I'm going to start by placing the hundreds. So when I place it, I'm going to cross it off. So I'm going to place one over here. Place this one in this group. Place this one in this group. And place this one in this group. And remember, I have to have equal numbers in each group. Now I have one left, one 100 block left, um, so I can't place that in the groups, otherwise one group is going to have three, and the other groups are going to have two. So that means I have a 100 block left over. What I can do with that 100 block is I can regroup it into tens. And for those of you who remember, um, when we regroup a 100 block into tens, we get 10 of them. So I'm going to cross the 100 block out. I'm going to give my 10 here, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and I already have 2 there, so that means I have 12. So now I'm going to place those 12 10s in my groups, and I'm going to cross them off when I place them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six, nine, eight, nine. Now I've got three left, and that means one of those will go in each group. So I managed to place all of those equally. That was helpful. So I've placed all the hundreds, I've placed all the tens, now I have my six ones left. So I'm going to place them and then cross them off. So one. Two, three, one, two. Oh, look at that. So, in this particular question, there are no remainders because I've placed all of my 726 in the three groups equally. So, the answer to my original problem, 726 divided by 3, is in one of these. And so, all I need to do is count up the base 10 blocks, and that will be my answer. So I have 200, 40, 4 10s, and 2 1s. That's 242. Now, a way to check that is to use multiplication, just to make sure you have the right answer. So I'm just going to make some space here, and then we'll check using multiplication. And hopefully there's enough space. Okay. So if I multiply 200 if I multiply my answer which was 242 I multiply it by the number of groups I should get this answer here. So um, I'm going to do my multiplication down here. 3 times 200 is equal to 600. 
three times forty is equal to three six nine twelve one hundred and twenty, and three times two is equal to six. And if I add those up, six. 